And that prophetic body showed up on the road to Emmaus. Mm -hmm. Am I right? Mm -hmm. He took him to where? To the Old Testament, mm -hmm. the Psalms, and all those different places. Because he knew that the Torah, he, he went back to Moses' writing, which is the five, first five books. Which is the prophetic body of the teacher. So the prophetic body was walking on the road to Emmaus. And yet, that body is a head, but there's a body, a prophetic body being framed in the earth. When we grow up into the head and all things that become mature, I know it's deep this morning, but I'm just saying, ah. If we grow up into the head and all things, and then we can become the fulfillment of it. So the Torah itself is not to bring bondage. The Torah itself was, was supposed to bring liberty. Amen? He said he wanted to make it honorable. So that's what he wanted to do. He said, I wanted to put this people, speaking to Judah, I wanted to make Judah honorable. You don't have to go into captivity like your northern brothers in the northern kingdom. You, Judah, I'm going to do something with you. But, of course, they denied his, his providence and his sovereignty. And they submitted to a kind of his system and got into some of the things that the northern tribes did. You follow me? Mm -hmm. And then this, and then 22 makes it a, a, a historical fulfillment and yet a prophetic fulfillment all through the ages. But this is a people robbed and what? Spoiled. They are all of them snared where? In holes. And they are what? Hid in prison houses. For they are for a prey. And none delivered for a sport. And none says restore. So none delivers and none this okay, come on now. None deliver and none say what? Restore. That is the message. That is the link for your freedom has a purpose. To deliver and to restore. Huh? You've been, you've been delivered, both of us. Some of us have not been experienced at the table or sat at the table enough or long enough or allowed the process to have its perfect work in us and we're not delivered from some things. And most of it is because of our own uh, negligence, not that God didn't want us to be delivered. But if we're struggling with the deliverance, then there's no true restoration. There's no recovery. That's why it says in the first two verses, they were blind and deaf. To just look to get delivered, just for us to have our own personal freedom, is blindness. It's deafness. Because our message is supposed to go beyond us on Sundays and Wednesdays. Why? Because the people is robbed and spoiled. They are all staring in the holes. Spoiled by what? What Colossians says over there. It's in 2 and 8. Amen? Yeah. Let, let, let's go there. Come on. Colossians 2 and 8. Oh. Am I trolling anywhere? Okay, I didn't know y'all were real quiet on me. I thought I was like, oh. Y'all ready? Beware! Lest any man do what? Spoil you through what? Philosophy and vain deceit. After the traditions of men. After the rudiments of the world. And not after Christ. Beware! Lest any man spoil you. And you got to understand, he was right to a, 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 a cacophony of different philosophies. And he was trying to tell them in college, he said, hey, you can't believe everything you hear. And although we've observed many things, some of the things we've left off because we've been spoiled. We've been robbed and spoiled. We've been set in Holes, like it said over there in Isaiah 42. Am I right? It says, beware, lest any man spoil you through philosophy, what they think. That's what I wrote in my notes. Philosophy is what they think. It's their derivative of what God is saying. It's out from their experience. And he said, beware of 
They deceive what they create, what they conjure up, what they say. This is the way walking in it. What they create, the ecumenical places, the high places, the headquarters, the, the, the come on now. That's a creation. That's a, a, a figment of man's own imagination. That's man's refusal to grow up in the things of God. Amen. Well, they went over here. After the traditions of men, what they heard. What they heard. I told you, there's two arms on the religious church. Two arms. Remember? Religion and, I mean, tradition and futurism. Tradition is what they heard. Futurism is what's coming. <laughs> Those two arms has a stranglehold on us suffocating the church that we can't breathe properly. Amen. Now is the acceptable time. Now is the day of salvation. Now faith is. Hebrews 11 and 1. Am I right? So there's no postponement. Only thing that seeks to postpone is philosophy, vain deceits, the, root, the traditions of men. Amen? And the rudiments of this world what they've desired, what they've designed, and what they've created religiously, but not after Christ, what he's destined. He's destined for a people that will say deliver. There will be a people that says restore. Because freely they receive, freely they give. Y'all got it? That's the whole goal. That's what he wants. He want to make his word honorable. He want to make his law honorable. He want to make your life honorable. Come on now. I hide his word in my heart. And see, that's most of us. We know we need to hide it in our heart so we won't sin against him. But see, that's deliver. But he wants to hide his word in our mouth so we can co-labor with him. So we can homologio. He's the apostle of our confession. Hebrews 3 and 1, am I right? He's a high priest to our confession. He's the apostle and high priest of our confession. Homologio. Having the same word. But if we don't have the same word, we're deaf and we're blind. Although we are exposed to truth, although we have an opportunity to grow up, although that we have a chance to mature, Although we have a, an opportunity to lay aside the weight and the sin. God is want to make, he want to magnify mm -hmm. his law. But it won't happen without us coming out of being snared in holes. Which means there's no foundation. If the, if the Bible says in uh, Psalms 11 and 3, I believe, it says, if the foundations be uh, destroyed, what shall the righteous do? Those are the holes. We dug a hole for ourselves. The church has dug a hole for itself. Because we've taken away some of the most important foundational things that will not allow us to make the law honorable. See, the law is honorable when, when there's fruit coming from it. Come on now. It ain't honorable just to be long to a body. Come on, y'all y'all listen. Yeah, there you go. If the foundation be destroyed, what can the righteous do? I say absolutely nothing. The gospel of the kingdom is the only gospel. Not the gospel of salvation. See, the gospel of salvation will free you from the law of sin and death. The gospel of the kingdom will release the law of the kingdom. The, the gospel of the kingdom will release to you life and peace. See, most of us trying to break the chains from sin and death. If I can get over them, if I can get about ten prayers up, if I can get on my face, come on now, come on, am I right? Those holes, come on now. That's what we do. We say, if I can just get to church on Sunday, I had a bad week, if I can just get there, God, my God, I need to be in the building. That's the gospel of salvation. That's the law of sin and death. That's the carnal mind. We're, no, we're citizens of the kingdom. We don't come just so we can come and be free from ourselves. My freedom have a purpose. Your freedom have a purpose. Why? So that life and peace can be manifested in 
my life. So that the law can be made honorable in my life. So that my marriage can become honorable. So my finances can become honorable. So that whatever I do, my business, every step of the way is being magnified. Because I understand that God has made it honorable. It doesn't matter if nobody else can see my life for what it is. God has made it honorable. Come on now. And when he makes it honorable, no thief, no robber can get there. Am I right? No mob, no corruption. Because he's the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. Did you understand what I'm saying? He made it honorable. And we got to return the favor. Amen. That ain't, no, 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 no. That's a reasonable service to be free. Huh? Your freedom has a, uh, come on now. Your freedom has a purpose. And that purpose is that other people can come out of prison houses. We've been in prison houses too long. The Emancipation Proclamation has already been provided. Amen? Amen? It has already been provided. Did you know it took them almost 70 years when the Emancipation Proclamation was signed? But then they really realized they, they can leave their land. They, they stayed in the vicinity of that land. Took them 70 years. It was an amendment that got them out. Three presidents later. And we're waiting on an amendment. Huh? Am I right? We do. We sit there and say, Oh, no, my sheep now. But we the more. Oh, no, 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 no. So we go from conference to conference. We go from place to place. We haven't found a resting place yet. We're still looking for the breakthrough. <sighs> Those are amendments. There was a breakthrough that needs to break through to us. Huh? He's in our hearts, the son of righteousness. 